in this video, we will show you the user interface of QStudio, the Unico HMI development tool. This is the first view when you start QStudio. In the middle of the screen, you will find a list of recent projects and furthermore two buttons. New for create a new project or open to load a project from a different location. Let's create a new project. A dialog appears and you can choose a name for your project. And you can set the location or browse for a new location to set the path for your project. Click OK and the project will be created. Now we can start to explain the user interface. The toolbar on the top is the so-called global toolbar, where you find buttons on the left. We have buttons to close the project. We have a button to save something to the project and to jump between changes with undo and redo. On the right side, you will find other buttons. You will find a button for viewing, importing or deleting project files. The next one is to open the template library. Then we have a one button to open a C-sharp editor for scripts. And we have here another button which starts the emulation on your PC, or you can deploy the project to a different target device. The last two buttons are for settings of the Crew Studio and starting the online help. On the left side of QStudio, you see the project view. The project view contains all the project objects like variables, like communication drivers, like alarms, etc. Below the project view, there's the type view, which is a collection of native and custom objects like graphical and functional elements. The middle part is the editing area. Depending on the selected object, you open a graphical editor to design the UI or maybe a table to configure alarms, data logger, etc. On the right side of QStudio, you will find the properties of the selected object. Depending on the selected element, different properties are displayed, which you can change. If the selected object can handle events, you can configure them in the event area below the properties. And finally, at the bottom, we have the Cool Studio output window. Here you can see information about Cool Studio and runtime operation. That's all. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.